No president should ever have to go through what we've gone through in the first two years. It's a hoax. Senator Richard Burr from the great state of North Carolina, he's chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, and they've been investigating this Russia hoax for two years. Richard just announced that they found no collusion between Donald Trump and Russia. Well, that settles it. Tonight, some new reporting on something that all of us could see out in the open may, in fact, give us the clearest window yet into the question at the core of the secretive Mueller investigation. The New York Times calls our attention to this transcript of the closed hearing for Paul Manafort. This was the hearing where prosecutors laid out the reasons they revoked Manafort's cooperation agreement with the feds, detailing what are his lies about his contacts with Konstantin Kalimnik, that associate tied to Russian intelligence. When the judge asked why those alleged lies were so significant, the federal prosecutor said this about a meeting on August 2 of 2016 between Manafort, then the chairman of the Trump campaign, remember, Rick Gates, another campaign aide, and Kalimnik, quote, this goes to the larger view of what we think is going on and what we think the motive here is. This goes very much to the heart of what the special counsel's office is investigating. Prosecutor continues, in 2016, there's an in-person meeting with something, someone who was understood by the FBI, assessed to be, have a relationship with Russian intelligence. This is an in-person meeting at an unusual time for somebody who is the campaign chairman to be spending time and to be doing it in person. That meeting and what happened at that meeting is of significance to the special counsel. Well, our friends at The New York Times write that those comments, quote, suggest that the special counsel continues to pursue at least one theory, that starting while Russia was taking steps to bolster Mr. Trump's candidacy, People in his orbit were discussing deals to end a dispute over Russia's incursions into Ukraine and possibly give Moscow relief from economic sanctions imposed by the United States and its allies. Well, with us tonight to talk about it, Frank Figluzzi, former FBI assistant director for counterintelligence, who in the past has worked for one Robert Mueller. Frank, sometimes, I guess in your line of work, uh, the gun in the dead guy's hand is the gun that killed the dead guy. And we all read this transcript, the parts of it that were not redacted. I went over this part of the transcript, but it was in reading the way the Times handled it and kind of separating this out that kind of shook us uh, awake today. My question to you is, um, what is that term you use today about a contagion? Uh, and what is this answer and wh what questions does this raise? Brian, I've viewed for quite some time Paul Manafort as one of the significant conveyance measures, the, the method of transfer of what I call the Russian infection into the campaign. Now, let's be sure. There are historical milestones of Trump being involved with Russia that go way back and predate Manafort. And let's also be clear, there are other vectors that may have conveyed the Russian infection to the campaign. And I believe Roger Stone may have been one of those. But clearly, in this transcript, we see a senior prosecutor on the special counsel team giving us a glimpse into the mind of Mueller. And by that, I mean he's telling us, and he's actually reminding us, Brian, what the special counsel investigation is all about. What was it all about from the start? It started as a counterintelligence investigation. In fact, we recently learned the FBI opened a counterintelligence investigation that predates the special counsel's appointment to determine whether our president was compromised or not, or whether the Russians had influenced this president, this candidate. So, to, so in this transcript, we learn that they believe that Manafort is lying for a reason that's at the heart of the special uh, counsel investigation, the Russian collusion question. And we hear Andrew Weissman, the prosecutor, telling the judge, look, he's lying about something really important. This is what we think has happened. This is what the larger picture is all about. Now, I find it fascinating that that's not redacted, and there are many, many lines in this transcript that were deemed so sensitive that they were redacted, and I can only imagine what those lines read. But the way I'm reading what's not redacted is that this ain't over yet. The Russian collusion question is 
is still being worked aggressively and they're pointing squarely at Manafort. Now, that answers a question about collusion, but it begs lots of other questions that aren't answered. Why are others lying about Russia? Mike Flynn, for example, Cohen lying um, before Congress. W why are people lying about Russia? And is the heart of that answer because Russia it was involved in a quid pro quo, this for that, a favor for a favor, and what was that favor that Russia was doing for the campaign, and what was the campaign offering in return for Russia? So let's speak plain English here. In your view, there's a very good chance that when we see something like a Mueller report, part of what they're going to ask the American public to buy and to understand is a plot line akin to some uh, 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 offer of assistance to get Tron Donald Trump elected, and the quid pro quo was, we can make you Russia, we can make your lives better uh, as a result. Well, exactly, and we're seeing a hint about what, what one end of that transaction would have looked like, which may likely have been a promise that we're going to have a favorable policy for you, Russia, regarding Ukraine and or Crimea. That could have been what drove this relationship, among other factors, for Russia to help the campaign. This is, this is conjecture, but, Brian, it's smart conjecture based on all we've learned so far and the revelation in this transcript. 30 seconds remaining. You think it is also educated, perhaps infused and motivated the raid on Roger Stone's house. You think in large part they're looking for stuff along this plot line. Yes, and in fact, I'm less inclined to think that Mueller is about to wrap up, even though we're hearing it from people like Matt Whit Whitaker. I think when we see Weissman say what he said in this transcript, when we see Roger Stone's home raided and they take volumes of evidence out, this Russia thing is still going and not yet answered. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.